Now coming to the E sites. Okay, so there are many E sites are there. So at today in this session we will discuss about only the e-commerce. There are many E sites are there. Just you know one or two line I will describe them one. But very very important is e-commerce. Okay, so what is actually e-commerce? E-commerce deal with the purchasing of various goods through the internet using the secure secure protocol and electronic payment services. So you know Flipkart, you know Amazon, you know Mintra, Shopclose, and all. You are very very much aware of this uh, th thing. So um, Grofers also there, Spencers also there. So you are aware of this. Thing. So this is the actually the example of the e-commerce. Okay. So most electronic commerce involve the online be buying, selling of some uh, selling of a physical items or. Some way. So, depending upon the type of a business is conducted over the next journey, there are the different types. That is B to B. That is a business to business. Okay. So, it is communications happening between business to business. See, flip in the flip card, some sailors are there. Sailor. So, sailors are also having business. Flip card is also having business. But they are communicating. They are selling and buying the product. So, that is an example of B to B. Now it is business to consumer one, business to consumer one, and Amazon, Flipkart that you are doing. From the Flipkart you are purchasing the things. So it is an example of a business to consumer. Okay, business to government also there. Uh, government are selling some uh, things to the user also. It is there. Okay. Now consumer to consumer also there. So you are having a um, see, uh -huh. but I am forgetting. Oh, you have to give uh, advertisement of a product if you want to sell. I am not remembering the actually the uh, we can know the site name that uh, you can buy in a sale if you post the ad of your product. So this kind of example is there. Government to consumer, Khadi is there. They are selling the products. Okay, government to business is also there. So. Um, Government to business, uh, business agencies, the government is selling some product to business agency. So these are the three. And uh, how it is processing? You are, uh, you are the purchaser. You are opening the web particular site. You are actually uh, keep the your desired one in a cart, and then from the cart you are uh, paying your visa payment to bank payment or in the UPI mode you are giving them payment. They are actually receiving your order. The, from the warehouse they are um, picking up the order then nearby uh, places they are dropping it and then from the courier and then it is sending so in this way e-commerce work is going on another one is there another e-businesses uh, e are there that is e-learning and the virtual classroom that is actually going on okay and e-banking is there internet banking is also there e-reservation that is online booking of air tickets and railways also there okay now coming to the part of the internet security okay so it is very very important actually we are in a network so so that's why we need to be more secure okay so what gives us actually this security okay so so firewalls give us this security okay a network should be secure from both inside and outside that a person uh, from or within an organization may not be fully trustworthy and can leak the important or confidential company information. So we have to take care of this security. So firewall, what is firewall? A, a network firewall is a system or again it is disturbing me. A system of a group of systems used to control the access between two networks, a trusted network and untrusted network using the pre-conference rule. Okay, so one is a private network is there and a public network is there. In between them, a protection layer or wall, <laughs> like, like we are saying, is there. So firewall is a device that provides a secure connectivity between the internal and external network. It is used to implement and enforce a security policy for communication between next door. Next, a firewall may be a hardware software or a combination of those both to use to unauthorized programs or integrate the user from accessing the private networks or single computer. 
okay so why uh, do we actually need a firewall to protect the confidential information from those who do not explicitly need to access it and to protect our network and its resources for the malicious user and accident that originated outside our network so what type of a firewall we have we have a hardware firewall and a software firewall okay so what type of a firewall technique we are using we are using packet filters application gateway circuit level gateway and <clears throat> bus ha uh -huh. bus station host okay so what are actually the advantage of using this firewalls so block space specific web uh, website access what it means a network administration can block the access to a specific website now generally it is happening uh, happening that uh, when we are using uh, actually we are in a college in a college when we are doing the lab so in that lab particularly that is flipkart amazon this kind of a site is blocked okay so it can happen we mane actually uh, if it not get misused by some mane network is not get misused mane information not get misused that's why few site can be blocked okay now content filtering a firewall can do packet filtering to block a particular site based on its content so what content is getting they have to scan the content and then it is uh, uh, actually uh, from outside world to inside they are giving the permission restricted access to the internal network unwanted access to the internal network from some specific site can be block controlling the ip address of the site now number 4 that is the protection from the insecure services a firewall can be used to deny a certain unsafe services like network file services nfs and uh, availing the network okay now what are actually the disadvantage of this so selective access not possible since the firewall is placed at the entire point to the network if a particular url is blocked it gets blocked globally for all the user in the network for a one person it cannot be blocked for all you have to block that is a uh, disadvantage number 2 restriction of a desirable services a firewall may block a service that the user desperately need to access most commonly uh, like uh, services like telnet ftp nsc may be get blocked okay so now what is are actually the hardware firewall and software firewall so hardware it is a physical device it can be installed between the modem a uh, modem and computer and it can be incorporated into a uh, broadband router being used to share the internet connection and protects the entire okay most ex expensive one cisco px uh, net screen actually the example of a hardware firewall next is the software firewall it is a software application it is installed then on the computer system that you want that you wish to protect next is a protects a single computer okay and is usually uh, usually the computer with a modem attached to it okay uh, no turn internet security uh, mac free internet security many are there okay advantage and disadvantage i have already explained uh, many also points are there that is advantage is low cost is there easy to install a high speed as there okay packet filtering is uh, pretty much difficult in this particular things okay now coming to the another threat to a network that is a computer virus okay so a computer virus is basically a program that is made to cause any unwanted harmful events in a computer so it is usually uh disguised uh, disguised as some thing else so that the user do not recognize it as a virus okay so what it will do actually more thing it can have this you can, it can uh, design in a such a way that it can replicate itself so that it can spread to other device drives on the computer okay so what will they do it will can erase your data change the program files change the system file causes the server damage uh, operating to the operating system file this can be done by the computer viruses so how many type of viruses we have there is a file infector virus this is the oldest form of virus uh, this attach themselves with the program files and launch themselves when someone launches particular program 
okay so then is microvirus microviruses are usually associated with the office document and launch themselves when the document file to which they are attached is open okay that is using the pdf and one word document with this now boot sector virus the boot sector virus plays its code in the boot sector of a master boot record of a hard drive so during startup when the computer ex executes the instruction from the boot sector file the virus launch itself okay it stays in the memory and it can hamper the basic operation okay a number was a trojan virus trojan and usually program disguises itself in a normal helpful program but in fact is a virus it is not always easy job to remove the damage one by the trojan in pen drive generally we are finding this kind of a viruses okay next is worms this are the virus program designed to infect the network such as internet they are travel from one network computer to another and in this process they replicate themselves along the um, along the way the worms are usually comes in in the I mean from the emails attachment okay so if a virus is there we need to protect us our network or internet so we have antivirus okay so antivirus are the uh, are used to detect the remove the virus program from the computer to disinfect a file attached by the virus or to isolate such file so that it cannot cause any further damage mm, so this is actually what uh, 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 um, antivirus is there are different type of antivirus are there that is a firewall software analyze the incoming and outgoing data packets on the network uh, that is all the in, all the information sent and the received through the computer network communication number 2 that is network layer firewalls are called a packet filters these firewalls are simplest of firewalls and only allow the information packet pass to the firewall if the packet matches to the specified set of rules now proxy servers act as a firewall in that they are impact uh, incoming packets for specific application and block all others okay and number 4 that is application layer firewalls this firewalls uh, inspect all the packets for specific protocol such as ftp and um, browser traffic so you are able to see the uh, antivirus programs is available okay in the market now coming to the practical one part also from the theory one question will come from theory as well that is the uh, hypertext markup language okay so html is stands for hypertext markup language html is actually a formatting language used to create the document containing hypertext for the world wide web it is actually developed in the early 1990s by the team berners lee actually what is actually the function a web page written in the html gives a general guidelines on how to present a given web document okay structure is from this example you are able to see the structure first a html tag is there then head tag then title tag again head tag is closed then body tag is there heading tag is there paragraph tag is there okay so what is okay one more thing that is if you want to save a html file so we have to put a extension that is extension is dot html okay or dot htm okay you can give okay so uh, i am talking about this tag that html tag header what is tag in it the simplest form of html document is made up of element called tag they are generally used to format this documents okay so this is actually present what is called tag which is, is present in the angular bracket so html has uh, two type of tags one is container tag and another one is the empty tag okay so container tag uh, contains in pair that is um, like like html uh, like head it is also a opening tag is there and also slash head is written it is mean it is a closing tag so uh, the tag which is having both opening and closing tag is known as the container tag and another one the tag which is only having a single tag that is called only opening tag that is called it as a empty tag the example of a uh, empty tag is a br tag here i am not given example of a br tag 
and uh, as yes, part of the html tutorial you will find it as a practical session uh, i will upload the html part in a practical basis practical you know how to do it and what are the tags what are the uses okay how to do in a practical session i will discuss the rest part okay thank you student i am ending my lecture over